Vipi wagon wagon wa down to my mkofiti na wakaribisha ndani ya celeb kona ki as we get to talk about one of the many stories that is currently making headlines in the country. And let me say this is a battle of supremacy between uh, Kebaso Morara, lawyer Kebaso Morara and blogger Dennis Situmbi. Let me say President William Ruto's right hand man, Dennis Situmbi. Now Rumor has it that right now Dennis Itumbi together with the whole of bloggers that have been hired by the state house are trying on every way possible to discredit Kebaso Morara. They are on a run to try and make Kebaso Morara look bad. But you know Kebaso Morara is a very intelligent man on how he serves his doors to the people and how he humiliates President William Ruto together with uh, the government. Now what has been going on and what has triggered this conversation is uh, the reaction of Dennis Itumbi towards Kebaso Morara's seeking uh, the the people of the Republic of Kenya and his supporters to contribute money to help him acquire equipments that will facilitate his civic education which is aimed at educating the people of the Republic of Kenya on the wrongdoings of the government and mostly on how president William Ruto has been making false promises and also launching uh, going ahead to launch stalled projects and projects that are dead which do not materialize to anything that might be beneficial to the people of the Republic of Kenya. Now, a move that has also shocked a lot of Kenyans is how Kebaso Morada went ahead to attack President William Ruto's direct, directly in this. Now, first of all, I want, I want to get to these uh, Itumbi's attack on... Kebaso Morara, so that you will understand the point from where we are coming from. Now, Itumbi has been on a move to try to discredit Kebaso Morara. And he posted a post 10 hours ago, which was a, a, a picture from Kenyans don't see or don't care of Kebaso Morara, saying activist Morara Kebaso ask Kenyans to fundraise for a PA system to carry out civic education says the system will cost between 840,000 to, uh, to, to 1.4 million to procure and install. And it won't be at this to say. He says Wajinga Walisha Kenya. No Kenyan should buy the idea of civic education from this gentleman. I'm sure Kenyans know their position as well as their rights in the political landscape. Don't be conned or be lured into this self-centered scheme. Uh, and he says, say no to commonship. And I say Mahanifa conned Kenyans over 3 million in the name of Gen Z protest. Morara now wants to con Kenyans millions of money in the name of the public system. What a shame. So Jamaa anajaribu kumanisha Morara is a pesa naomba and the, the money that Morara is asking Kenyans to contribute is meant for his own agenda, not the agenda of educating the people of the Republic of Kenya. But Morara, uh, for you to realize that this man is genuine, I want you to listen to what he said a few hours ago. Uh, after realizing, you know what, uh, what one at Pesa kwa Mpesa and they are, they are realizing that Pesa I go through because, you know what, the Mpesa zilikuwa zimeja. Now, uh, Kibaso posted something, and I want to read it out and clear. He said, good evening. I thank you all for your contributions towards our mission. The MPESA is full and the transaction limit has been exhausted. Kindly, I request you to stop sending until tomorrow, please. That is what uh, Kibaso Morara said. Now, the dose that Kibaso has been uh, serving Kenyans is what has been triggering a lot. Now, because many of the people have been trying to discredit him, even some of them saying that this guy is unlearned and that he, he cannot lead anyone because he is an illiterate, Kebaso served them with the dose they deserved in regards, in regards to his uh, mental 
capability of leading people and also being a leader in the Republic of Kenya. He said instead of challenging the facts of stalled projects where money has been stolen by contractors with the blessings of President Truto and corrupt governors, now he has established a team of bloggers paid by our taxes to discredit me by attacking me on a personal level. They have claimed I am an educated, as I said, and I will repeat again, our problem in Kenya is not uneducated leaders. We have professors and Ivy League graduates who are rotten to the core. They have looted this country to its knees. Now that William Ruto has started this Nisawa, Tupelekane Basi, I will start from primary school. I will post a picture of me in primary school uniform plus what I got in KCPE. Let's post the president's KCPE certificate. Then we move to high school. If you, if you mpaka campus, a picture uh, and a certificate. And I let me tell you, up and you are now Ibisha. Kebaso posted his certificate of primary education. The Kenya National Examination Council. Kenya Certificate of Primary Education. And it says, this is to certify the, 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 that the, name, the candidate named below sat for the Kenya Certificate of Primary Education Examination and qualified for the award of this certificate. The candidate attached the, uh, uh, the subject grade shown below. Attend the the subject grade shown below. Name Kebaso David Morara. Uh, hey, he was indexed to school St. Andrews uh, Kegoa Boys, something of that. Now, the English language, he had an A plane. Kiswahili, he had an A plane. Mathematics, A plane. Science, A plane. Where he failed, is social study, uh, the social studies and, C and religious education CRE where he scored an A minus. Mm. Main grade, the guy had an A. <laughs> so the question is, Mr. Uh, Itumbi, can you post the president's results? Mm. You, are, you are trying to fight Kebaso to prove that he is an educated and what have you. Why don't you post a picture of the certificate yeah our president so that we will get to know what the man scored because you have all been claiming that he is so educated i know he got this and that which is total crap for speaking out loud now he says his integrity has always been to identify any person of his integrity that might try to a position of influence then this is what ruto does and this is what kebaso morara has stated he says, first they bribe him or her with an amazing amount of money, gifts and trips, or appoint him or her to a position where he can use him or her to steal so that the credibility is lost, or shop around for a scandal, i.e. high school in discipline case, a failed marriage or a neglected baby mama etc. Then use the scandal to grab his or a call and drag it through the mud of public opinion, or kill him or her and place the body next to an unidentified person of the, uh, of the opposite sex so that it looks like cheating gone bad instead of an assassination. William Ruto, I know your tactics. Those 20 youth that operate from KICC ballroom and sometimes from Modava D Center, I know them. I know they have registered not less than 50x accounts each. I know they use a software called TweetDeck to trade their hashtag like Mulika Morara. I am familiar with that game. Sadly, you are funding them using our taxes. Are those the jobs you said you will create on the digital highway? If you thought you have bought their fundable position and compromised parliament and that now you have a hand a license to sweep the treasury clean, you should think again. It doesn't matter how many times we are attacked on our personal lives or our past. We have already forgiven ourselves for our past mistakes. God damn it. We have for, forgotten our, for, forgiven ourselves for voting for you. We will keep doing 
what we do best painless civic education in fact now we will go where you have never wanted us to go the ground to those mamambogas and border border that you have been lying to sorry i forgot Kenyans have bought me a super clear presidential address system boy oh boy you should see me use it i will educate and educate and educate i will walk around with translators like a pastor in a crusade you cannot kill us and lead us you cannot hold our country hostage like a criminal robbing a bank hiyo mchezo tutasimamisha i assure you damn man this guy gives me uh, the courage Eh, eh, mpaka wewe mwenyewe unajisikia yes we have a leader yeah we have a leader as the gen z and he continues by saying we have achieved a lot together if i was if it wasn't our efforts president william ruto wouldn't be in china today begging for a loan to complete some project and still budget for his greedy somewhere within the loan we have moved mountains that means we are wherever we think we are forward now another one the last one for the day for uh, the last one for today kebaso says i am not perfect like the great moses i can be a stammerer i might have killed an egyptian i morara kebasa kebaso i am not perfect i'm i am imperfect but his strength is made perfect in my weakness i am imperfect so that he can be seen The reason God uses imperfect people is so that if they do something extraordinary it is glaring clear that if it wasn't the Lord on their side it would be impossible. Don't wait for me to fall. Build me, own me, use me as an agent of change, not for my own luxury but to the glory of him that has me called me. I am a man on a mission. Sure you are, Mr. Man. And we say people like Dennis Itumbi should be warned that this movement is going nowhere. Are you getting me? The movement is going nowhere. Now, you know, I've seen now it seems like that right now it is like it's Kebaso Morara against Dennis Itumbi. And uh, the, the bloggers uh, hear what Kebaso tells He knows where even they are situated. Most of them are situated in K- at KICC ballroom. Others are situated at the office of the cabinet secretary, uh, the prime cabinet secretary, Musali Mudavadi. So they can make anything trade in this country as long as it favors the president. And they have been making the hashtag Mulika Morara trade. For now, we will hang it there. Remember, this is Celeb Konake. Subscribe. Or what do you think? Leave your comment on the comment section.